Okay, so dito tayo sa analysis. Click, okay na tayo sa ating general tab. Sa load combination. Dito na tayo sa analysis and print tab. Okay. So, click mo yun. Lalabas yan. Click add. Yan. And then, mag-assign tayo ng load list. Dito tayo sa, click mo yung, click mo yung analysis print tab. Dito ka sa post print. Yan. Click define commands. Yan yung load list. Lagay mo yan. Then, add. Close. Check kung meron. Yan. And then, dito tayo sa design. Steel. Worse steel. Ito gamitin natin. American Institute of Steel Construction. 360-2010. Ayun. And then, define parameters. Okay. So, yun yung first natin i-define method. Okay. LRFD tayo dyan. Then, next natin i-define if yung is yung yield. Nating steel. So, typically yung yield, uh, FY natin sa steel, structural steel is A36. So, 248 MPA yun. Okay. So, click mo yan. Click add. Yun. And then question mark, kailangan natin i-assign yan. So, assign to view lang yan. So, i-assign natin yan sa lahat. Okay. Okay. So, after nito, di click commands. Then, check code. Add mo yan doon. And then, uh, itong optimize, kahit hindi na to, dito tayo take off. Ito yung importante. Yan. And then, may question mark yan. Assign to view mo lang yan para ma- Assign siya sa lahat. Okay. Still take off. Assign to view also. Yun. So, check na yung lahat. Wala nang i-assign. Let's analyze. So, click analyze. Run analysis. Tignan natin kung may error. Siguro. Yun. Walang error tayo. View output. Ito ka sa results. Ito na yung still design. Okay, ito yung result. Okay, pass, pass. Tignan natin kung may fail. Okay. Okay yung section natin. And then take off. Tignan mo yung take off. Ayan, ito na yung take off niya. So sa isang purlin, we need 55 meters nung 50 by 150 na. Or 2 by 6 na channel. Then, ang weight nun is 2.383 kilo newton. Okay? Kailangan natin yan sa ating truss design. Uh, ayun. Okay na. And then, para ma-double check din yung failure, dito ka sa select. And then, by specification, select all failed beams. Okay. So, wala naman. Okay. So, serviceability check. Uh, dito tayo sa 5 meter span. Click natin to. So you consider nating uh, beam. So kung titignan natin, dito tayo sa deflection. Okay. Tapos, click mo yung one dead load, one live load. Ayan yun. And then, click global deflection. Click Y. Now, kung titignan natin, since yung Yung one dead load, one live load na combination. Dito yan sa global Y. Okay? Yan. Sa global Y. Ang mangyayari, meron siyang bending sa Y and sa Z. Okay? Meron siyang bending sa Y and sa Z. Kasi dito yan, nag Okay? Titignan natin. Balik tayo doon. Ayan. So, we'll click mo yan. Deflection. Choose yung one dead load, one live load. Yan yun. Local deflection tayo. Click Y direction. Yan. Point 0.1 tayo dyan. And then, click Z direction. Yan. Point 0.4. Okay. So, kung titignan mo, yung length ng beam na yan is 1.667. Kapitin natin yung 
allowable nyan. So, 1667mm divide 240. Yun. So, 7mm maximum deflection. Allowable deflection. So, pasok siya. Okay. So, why pasok din siya. So, yun. And then, okay na tayo sa serviceability check. Okay na rin sa design. Yan, okay na tayo. The next is, i-design na natin yung truss. Okay? So, yun. Thank you.